what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your own custom game board for your um, exploited PS3 this can also be done on jailbroken PS3 as well um, so basically a game boot what it does is that anytime you load up your game you will see your own custom game boot before the game boots up um, a long time ago Sony had their PlayStation 3 logo whenever you boot the game up you had that PlayStation 3 comes up on the screen after a few PlayStation update Sony removed that um, boot from the PS3 so now I'm going to show you how to get back that um, game boot or you can create your own original game boot alright so you want to go in the description and download the PS3 game boot right here once you download it go ahead and save it to the local disk C make sure that you guys save it here if you do not save it here you will have a bunch of problems so make sure that you guys save it here so go inside it and here is mine so go ahead and just um, extract it okay so just go ahead and um, extract to ps3 game boot do this one here make sure that you have winraw on your pc all right so let's refresh okay so here it is ps3 game boot go inside it and you will see this readme text we are going to open this afterwards okay so the first thing you want to do this text underscore ps3 logo png this is the one that you need to edit with photoshop okay this png right here this contained the original ps3 um game boot so let me just go ahead and open it with photoshop and show you guys all right let me enlarge in this so this is the space that we have to work with we can't make it any bigger or any smaller this is the the space we have okay so if I go and right click here go to um, binding option and let's say that I had some black to it so this would be the symbol that you see when you boot up your ps3 game when you boot up games um, homebrews or anything on your ps3 this would be the original game boot okay but I'm not gonna use this one you guys can use it if you want if it makes things easier but I'm not gonna use this okay I'm just gonna go ahead and um, create my own so let me just go ahead and uncheck this okay let's go and type my own I'm gonna create my own text okay so let's just do B I L L Y Billy Kibaki and that's it let me just kind of even it out a bit okay um, let's go ahead and change the color to white okay okay let's go ahead and warp the text a little bit let me just yep I think that right there looks good okay uh, what else let's go ahead and add some no yeah what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add this photo um, right beside it yep and I think think that should do it yeah so that's it so I made a I made a photo before like this so I'm just gonna I'm just adding this to it you can add your own custom photos or anything you want right so that's it right there all right so what we need to do is just go to files and then we are going to go to save for web now make sure that you save this as a PNG 
make sure that you save it as a PNG then you're gonna click um, save it's gonna ask you where you want to save it so what I would suggest is that you go ahead and save it in the same game boot folder so let me show you guys right here it's gonna save here okay so make sure that you guys save it in the same game boot folder it's gonna replace the original so all you have to do is just go ahead and back up the original so just in case you want to edit it over okay so just go ahead and save it right here so click save it's gonna ask you to rep replace it press replace all right so that's it so we just made our own custom game boot we can close this down close this down now go back to the game boot folder all right so what we need to do from here guys is go ahead and open up the readme text put this right here now remember that you need to save it in local disk C so we are going to go now and write um, type cm cmd open it up now go to the readme text you're gonna copy this you're gonna right click right here then you're gonna press enter and as you can see it's been selected now go down here and copy all of this right click here press enter okay so now you can see that we have a creation right here so now we can go ahead and close this down close this down now go to the customization folder go to the mods and here we have the custom render plugin rco file okay so what we need to do now guys is just go ahead and cut it and paste it on your usb stick make sure that your usb stick is formatted to fat32 you can use filezilla to do this but i'm not going to use filezilla i'm just going to use the usb so go ahead now eject the usb and head over to the ps3 okay guys so now that we're on the ps3 you want to go up and you want to enable your hen okay that's it hen was enabled i'm using the latest and by the way 2.3.1 okay so go down to your multi man okay guys so now that you're inside your multi man you want to go up top up here press triangle press file manager when you get to this page you want to go up to the ps3 root double tab x then it's going to open this page so what we need to do is go to your dev underscore usb 00 double tap x and here we have the custom render plugin so just press x press o and you're gonna do press x on copy now go up here to these two little dots double tap x now go down to your dev underscore rewrite double tap x go to v s h double tap x resource double tap x then go down and search for the custom render um, plugin so here it is the custom render plugin we can press x press circle and you can delete this one or you can back it up it doesn't matter now press x again press circle go down to paste and let's paste our custom plugin that's it now we can close this down and let's go ahead and um, restart the ps3 okay guys so the ps3 has just rebooted so go ahead and log into your user okay so from right here um, whenever you're going to play a game you will see your custom game boot okay so if I want to play this game or this one or this one 
anything you launch you will get your custom um, game boot okay okay let's just go ahead and enable hand okay that's it now let's go and let's try out this game let's see if we get our custom game boot now okay there you go I mean you guys can make it look a lot better you you can customize it and make it look way better so as you guys saw um, I now have my own custom game boot as I said you guys can customize it make it look really nice and everything this was just a quick tutorial how to do it so I mean you can make it any way you want okay so that's it guys if the video was helpful please leave a like also share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thank you all for watching guys and I will see you guys in my next video